I'm Scooter Rob, and today I'm going to show you how to tail whip. Okay guys, the first thing I have to say, this trick will not come easy. Despite what uh, famous YouTubers might tell you in their tutorial videos, this trick's not gonna be first try. If you're insane at scootering and you're like naturally incredible, maybe. But this trick took me a while. Even though this trick may take a long time to learn, here are some tips that will make you learn a lot faster. Okay guys, the first thing you need to do to learn the tail up is to learn how to bunny hop. And you actually do not have to bunny hop this way where you pull up and push out. Some YouTubers tell you you have to do that to learn it. You do not have to do that at all. Just know your average bunny hop just like this. Just like that, just pulling up at the same time. What you need to do for that is get some arm strength and make sure, I see a lot of kids when they jump go like this, like, like that. Uh, that's a different trick, that's called a no footer. Do not take your feet off when you jump. Just try to keep your feet glued to the deck and pull up like that. Okay guys, so now you know how to jump correctly. Now let's get into how to actually do that, do this trick. So, first of all, you need to figure out which way you flick it. So if you stand goofy like this, which is when your toes are pointed to the left, you're gonna be flicking it like this. If you stand regular like this, you're gonna be flicking it that way. I stand goofy. Um, I know a lot of beginners like to stand goofy. It's um, whatever stance you want, goofy or regular. And also one more thing guys, when you're trying to learn the tail up, do not put your feet like this, um, like that. It's way more important to keep your feet like this, like 45 degree angles near the back of the deck. The, the reason you want this is to get that flick on the deck and really make it, bring it around fast. Okay, so the third tip, and you need to work on this. All the YouTubers tell you this. This is a good tip they tell you. Work on this motion. So some kids, I see them trying this motion and they're like, like they're kind of like this or holding it. They're trying to kick it like that. So try to go like this, guys. Don't imagine like this going side to side. Imagine your hands are like this, going like that. So work on this, get a nice pace going. Do it for as long as you can. And eventually you can do it as fast as this and learn like doubles and triple tail whips. And this is a really good one. So this actually helped me learn a lot. And like this, so here's what you do guys. Ride forward like this, step, kick it, and land on it. And so like this, boom, boom, boom. And start out really slow at first. Just go like this at first, like boom, boom. And slowly build up speed with that. Try to add the arm motion in, so you're kind of getting both. How to actually do it. Because a lot of YouTubers give you the steps, right? They tell you, oh, you need to go like this. You need to work on flicking it and then just try it. See, that's the hard part. So, I'm gonna tell you some common mistakes and how to avoid them. Okay, so when you first start trying it, it might go like this. Like that. You might not even rotate it at all. Sometimes a problem I see with people, they are jumping barely any, like very little. Like this, they're jumping like that. It's very, very hard to land a tail up for your first one like that, very hard. So what you need to do, you need to imagine jumping high, okay? Just like pulling up with all your strength and flicking it right as you get off the ground. And guys, if you say, oh, this is such a light scooter, it's easier on this. Yes, it's much. It's true that tail ups are easier on lighter scooters, but I learned it on a really heavy scooter. I learned to tail up on a really heavy scooter, and that really helped me in the long run because now I can catch my tail ups flat, which is really helpful. But guys, so here's something I was doing also when I was first trying it doing this and I got stuck on this for so long and I got so mad like this like kind of like that so how to fix this this oh this is really an important point imagine when you tail whip you have a circle around your bars right and you need to flick it and keep these bars in that circle if you ever start going like this leaning putting it out in front of you it's very very hard to land almost impossible on flat ground. So try to imagine that ring right around your clamp. You need to rotate it right in between your clamp. Just like that. 
Okay guys, if you're landing one foot like this, after you've solved this issue by keeping it closer to you and flicking it faster, then if you're landing like this, like that, I got stuck on this step for about a month. And this really, really annoyed me. I was stuck on this, I didn't know what to do. So honestly guys, the trick for this, it's really hard to explain, but, so you need to, you need to keep, you need to spend one night or a couple nights just trying it. Keep trying it over and over again. Keep trying it. And you're gonna get mad. You're gonna fail. You're gonna land like this. You're gonna keep landing. Maybe you get something like this. Maybe you get some horrible ones. And you're gonna get really mad. But honestly guys, so I had one of those nights, uh, probably two hours, maybe three hours of trying it, super mad. I went to the skate park the next day. I tried it once, landed like this, pretty good. My feet was, foot was kind of close. And then this person just said, dude, you got this. Just land on that deck. And then guess what I did? Next attempt, I jumped, did it, and landed. I actually landed the tail whip. I was so happy. And guys, once you land the tail whip, it's so easy to do it. Like, it might have been hard for you once. After you do it, you can do it easily, like, like that. It, it, it just becomes second nature. And if you're stuck on the one foot, just know your breakthrough will come. It's, it's like one day, one moment, there's a breakthrough, and that gets you it. And it, it's really hard to teach someone how to have a breakthrough in the trick. It just kind of happens. But when you have it, you're gonna feel so excited, guys. Please never give up on this trick. I would recommend learning this trick on the flat ground. I learned it on the flat ground. Honestly, out of a bank can be good too, because it gets you a little bit more air time. But the good thing about learning at flat ground is, well, if you learn at flat ground, you have it anywhere. You can do it anywhere. And then it becomes super easy on ramps. Like on ramps, you don't even have to try hard and you'll land it. And so there, so I've seen YouTubers say like this, on your first attempt, you need to catch it and then land. No, that is not true. I can catch my tail whips now on the flat ground. On your first attempt, if you catch it, I will be surprised. It's very hard to catch it on your first attempt. Catching takes a whole new skill set. It took me a long time to learn how to catch it once I got it clean. But guys, you should be focusing on this. And as your deck's here, like just when you're landing on foot, when your deck's coming, try to squat down like in the air and just get those feet just to slam on that deck and land. You're gonna be so happy when you do it, guys. Okay, guys, here's some examples of a tail whip. Here's a tail whip without a catch. And then, here's a tail whip with a catch. That was a little sketchy. <laughs> I honestly think, guys, the tail whip was one of the most underrated tricks ever. People say it's so easy, and once you learn it, it gets really easy. But learning it, man, it takes a while. But when you get it, guys, it's gonna be so, you're gonna be so happy. Just follow my tips, and if you hear stuff from like YouTubers, like you're gonna land at first try, or every, the first time you try, you should land if you do those tips. That's not that true. I bet, I bet it's very rare for somebody to land a tail at first try, just by doing things. It's gonna take you a while, guys, but I know you guys will get it. Please comment down below if this helped you in any way. If you have any questions, and if you're stuck on a tail whip, if you're doing anything wrong, just comment down below and I'll do my best to fix it. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one, and I hope I helped.